Hello YouTube and welcome to What The Math. This is the Kerbal Space Program giveaway. So today there's going to be a lucky winner of the free copy of the game that is, I think, in my opinion, is the best game ever. But also we're going to be using this other game that I really, really like and is also a very, very good game. It's called Universe Sandbox. And this is how I'm actually going to be choosing the winner. I will show you, let me demonstrate what I mean by this. I'll show you what, I, what I'm going to be doing to make this kind of scientific and also somewhat fair. If you actually start a new simulation, and let's just uh, for fun put a bunch of Uranuses here because we all know how much fun we love to have with the name of this gas giant. So let's just put four Uranuses here. I'm going to rename them. This is going to be Uranus 1, Uranus 2. You can start making those jokes. Uranus 3 and Uranus 4. Alright, so uh, guess what happens if I uh, hold the velocity and resume the simulation? Look at that, they start smacking to each other, but as they smack into each other and combine, there's only one, let's just call it survivor. So this used to be Uranus 4 and Uranus 3, but by luck, Uranus 3 became the winner. And this is how we're going to be choosing the uh, winner today. I'm going to name a bunch of planets after you guys, after the people that um, were subscribers that actually shared the video and left a comment. Uh, and I think there's like 25-ish uh, people that did that. So we're going to be using this awesome scientific, totally realistic technique to choose people, uh, to choose a person that will win the first giveaway, the Kerbal Space Program giveaway. Uh, so here we have Uranus 3 versus Uranus 1. Who do you think is going to win? I don't know. What do you think? Oh, no, they start orbiting. So as if uh, things start orbiting around... Um, around each other. I'll just uh, hold all velocities just to make them smack into each other. And the thing is, I was actually thinking of using this new feature. And who's the winner? Winner is Uranus 3. Hey, awesome. Um, I was actually uh, thinking of using this new feature in a game called Total Fragmentation that was actually added in version 14.1. And I'll show you what this does. It's actually pretty cool. Before we get into the whole... Um, winning thing let's uh, let me show you what it does so i'm gonna put a bunch of marsuses Mar marsus Mar marsi and enable total fragmentation now this is actually something that is still in sort of early alpha as the rest of the game i guess but i mean this is it doesn't work really really well and it totally slows down my computer to almost a complete halt but it looks pretty it looks very very pretty let's actually zoom in on one of the marsus Mar marsi and here's what the total fragmentation does so as these guys uh, approach each other due to gravity, and as they smack into each other, ta-da, look at that. Oh, nothing happened. There we go. You saw the fragments flying out. These fragments are essentially what total fragmentation does. So I'm, I may actually do this, but the problem is that it does slow down the computer dramatically. So it might not be as... Um, as fun to watch because it's going to be like two frames per second anyway let's get on with it i'm going to create a bunch of planets and i, I thought it would be great to choose something that we're all familiar with and, and that is not uranus because i know you're going to start making fun of everything i say i'm going to choose jupiter everyone is going to be jupiter it's going to be how many let me just calculate there's going to be 24 jupiters i'm going to put them in a somewhat circular location around each other so it's going to go it's going to be kind of like the planet derby in a sense i need to pause my game though because they're going to start flying away uh and then we'll rename each of these after each one of you that were subscribers or are subscribers and that commented and shared the video so it's 24 people uh one person has a Japanese name, so I can't really pronounce it, unfortunately, or read it, but I'll do my best. I'm going to use Google Translate. All right, here we go. We have 24 Jupiters in a kind of a clock like formation. I'm going to rename each one of them after you guys, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So there's not going to be any fragmentation because it just makes my computer really, really slow. So let's start with the first person here. And here we go. 24 planet contestants are all gathered in this circle right here. I'm going to disable the velocity right now before I forget. And we're going to keep rotations. That's fine. And there's 24 of you. And the person who has the Japanese name, I actually translated it. Translated the name. It says William Fish. So this is you right here. And the rest of you, I'm not going to try to pronounce because I'm going to mispronounce your name. So I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, so 24 contestants. Let's see who survives this battle of the gas giants. Who will come out on top as the gassiest 
the gases? Yes, he is. Of all giants. And become the ultimate planet who gets Carbo Space Farm. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to unpause this and let's watch the collapse of the giants, the giant planets. Here we go. And oh, mm, Jack Dats versus G someone else. Oh no. And oh, ah, uh, mm. okay, let's pause this for a second. So here we go. Over here we have Jasin Benkovich that uh, survived the collapse of four other planets. Uh, Pope Sloth the 17th also has survived the collapse. Julian Gonzalez came on top uh, with the collapse with some other planet here. And then we have Roblox Bressler, uh, and none of these guys actually smacked in into each other yet. So let's see what happens there. And mm, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh right, so Julian Gonzalez came on top on this in this part of the solar system, I guess. And then we have Roblox Bressler, the pimp for Darwin or Darwin, and the hamburger gunslinger. And the final finalists come out on top. Here we go, here we go, and. Oh, Pop Sloth versus Julian Gonzalez versus, uh, who's this person? Jo Roblox Bressler. So I'm going to pause the velocities because these guys are actually going to fly away from each other. And this is going to be the ultimate battle. Three finalists. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, hold all velocities. I really hope I find some kind of intense music to play during all this because if it's just me talking, that's going to be pretty funny. All right. So here we go. Pop Sloth, the 17th versus... Roblox Bressler versus Julian or Julian Gonzalez. I'm sorry if I mispronounce your names. And you can leave a comment below if I did. And here we go. So, who will come on top? Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. The gaseous of all giants is going to be... Oh! Mm. And it is going to be... Here we go. The winner is Roblox Bressler. He is the gassiest of all giants. He came on top. He is at 3000 degrees Celsius. He's going to transform into a beautiful gas giant. Congratulations to you, Roblox. You win the copy. I'm going to message you and send you the link to your free Kerbal Space Program copy. Enjoy the game. Hopefully you like it. And try to uh, not kill too many Kerbals. Actually, actually do kill them. That's the whole purpose of the game. Anyway, so this has been the first giveaway of Kerbal Space Program, and I decided to use Universe Sandbox 2 because uh, this game is absolutely awesome. So let's see what uh, Roblox Bressler transforms into, and he will become a beautiful gas giant as soon as his temperature reaches a certain a certain temperature here. He's actually 24 masses of Jupiter because now he contains 24 other planets or gas giants in him, and there's a very big chance he'll actually stay hot because there might this might be enough mass for him to start um, heating up himself due to the pressure and uh, the temperature inside the actual gas giant. So let's see if he actually cools down or if he stays red and hot. Oh no, he did cool down. Look at that. And he, this person, I actually don't know if this is a he or she, has a ridiculously fast rotation period of 10 minutes. This is the fastest spinning gas giant in the solar system, but this is a normal gas giant. So basically this is you and you're the winner. Uh, so in the next video, we're going to be taking a look at a few more things, both in Kerbal Space Program and in Universe Sandbox. Specifically, I wanted to talk about an idea of density that is actually very interesting in Kerbal Space Program. But also, I, of course, I'm going to start my long, long trip, my grand tour with the construction of my ultimate spaceship. I actually almost finished constructing it, so the video is coming out really soon. So please subscribe, check out some of the other videos, and those of you who are asking about the music in this game that I'm, I I do insert the music in this game, but it's actually by an amazing, amazing composer um, who releases free, um, royalty free music. And his name is Kevin McLeod. Check out his website in the description below. He's actually pretty awesome. He lives in New York. I've never met him. I don't know him personally, but a lot of video games and a lot of YouTubers use his music because it's royalty free. Anywho, thank you for watching and good luck to you next time. Wait for the next giveaway and give me later. Bye-bye.